Hi, welcome to my whenever favorites. We're trying something new. I have come to the conclusion that by the time I purchase items, try them, send back the ones I don't like, realize I really like the ones that I do like, and put it on a video that happens at the very end of the month or beginning of the following month, it's too late. A lot of times, everything has been sold out or come very close to being sold out or people got the last few or whatever. So what I'm going to try to do, we're gonna try this, is I'm going to try to, as I find things that I really like, I'm still going to try them myself as much as I possibly can. If I know that there's just no way that I can take the time to really, you know, make sure the product works well, blah, 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 which is generally what I've always done, um, many times there's no time for that, I might just still plop it out there saying, look what I saw, this is really cool, um, give it a try, but I don't know if it works or not. Um, because things just go, they just go quickly. And I've had so many people contacting me about things that when I put the link in there, as I'm making the video and as I upload, every single thing is available. I always make sure of that. At that moment, it's available. But I'm telling you, it just, they sell out fast. Um, it's just how it is. So I'm going to try this. It may not be monthly favorites anymore. I may just pop on several times a month. I may pop on once at the middle of the month. I have no idea. It depends upon when favorite things happen. That's when the favorites videos will happen. So they won't necessarily be monthly favorites. They will just be just favorites. Okay, so let's give this a try. First off, I'm gonna try to talk about what I'm wearing because that's always the questions I get to and those items are usually always linked down below also, especially if it's something new I haven't worn a million times. Um, this top, I talked about the uh, linen blend tops, um, like button down shirts that I got, um, I think it was the last favorites video and I got it in this color also. This color I don't believe is still available, but there are a lot of colors, but I love these shirts. I just love them. Um, they're a linen blend, so it's only 55% linen if you're worried about linen, and we'll talk about that again a little bit later. But if you're worried about linen and so forth, it really does not wrinkle much. It's very comfortable, it's very soft, it's very flowy. I tie it at the waist with shorts is how I have it on right now, and I just adore it. And there is a coral color that I'm really looking um, at I think that would be a good one, but white is always a good one. Um, just so many good colors. And again, they sell out fast. Like I said, I think this color is gone, not sure, but keep checking back. Sometimes things pop up again. Anyway, I wanted to check that or tell you about that one real fast too. Plus I wanted to mention my earrings because I always get um, asked what earrings I'm wearing. I link those down below too. So they are one and a half inch, 14 karat gold, just hoops. And I tend to like the hoops that um, connect in the back rather than have the um, the backing that goes on. It's just my favorite. So that's what I do. And I think that the one and a half inch just gives a little bit more presence than your classic one inch, but it's not, you know, enormous in my opinion. So <laughs> these seem to be the perfect size around if I want to make more of a hoop statement. So let's talk about a few things on my face. First off, I got this and tried it recently and I'm really liking it is the Ilia Skin Rewind Complexion Stick. And it has things in it that will help your face, some skincare things in it that really help your face in the long run. But what I've been doing is using it with my um, Merit brush, which I love. Both of these will be linked down below. I get it in the color Aspen. It's six neutral is the color I get. And it's just kind of perfect. I usually just take it and go bloop, bloop, bloop and bop it on, you know, like different areas just to kind of cover up different um, hyperpigmentation, whatever I'm doing, or you can just smear it on and, and rub it in as a full on foundation. It's buildable. Um, it can be fairly light and it can build up to about a medium coverage. So it's not full, you know, masking at all, but I tend to like my skin and my freckles to show through just a little bit at least, but just to smooth things out. And I'm loving this. They have amazing amounts of color choices too. So, and with Ilia, they do so well with color matching. You don't really have to know what you're doing. Just give it a good try. I mean, like what you think your color is. And I swear to you, it works almost every time. <laughs> it's bizarre how they make this work. But anyway, I really enjoy it. It's a wonderful, easy stick. You can use it as concealer. You can bop it on with a brush or all over face, smear it on and rub it in. You can use your fingers, whatever, but I love this brush. And the lip color I'm wearing right now, it's kind of a lip, glossy-ish lip balm type of thing with color. And it's from YSL. I decided to give this one a try and I'm really glad I did. It is the Love Shine, I think it's called. Yes, the YSL Love Shine. 
and this is what it looks like in the tube and it really isn't that I mean it's really not that dark it's got a, a sheerness to it but I just really really I'm really enjoying it it just glides on so smoothly so it feels so good it almost feels a little oily in a way but which gives it that good slip which i love a good i don't like a matte dry feeling on my lips i kind of like there to be a little bit of slip but it doesn't look goopy and it doesn't feel goopy and it stays at last the color stays i really really enjoy it so i'm going to be looking into more colors of these because this one is a favorite for sure now i gotta go wipe off my hand first of all this dress i was at the mall i saw this just you know as i walked by i Turned around and did a loop back into the store. It's the Tommy Bahama store. And I grabbed it. I didn't have time to try it on. I made a quick guess and I guessed correctly. It is in the small P. Um, it's a linen dress and it has pockets. And it is so cute. And I love this um, color. It's kind of an olive green color. I thought this would be cute with a lot of raffia things, you know, different woven stuff. Kind of a natural, maybe chunky necklace. Dress up, dress down. I absolutely adore it. I also then, after having this and wearing it a few times, decided to get it in black. And I've been wearing the black one all over the place. Again, you can dress it up with heels, you can dress it down with like little sneakers, whatever you wanna do. It's so, so freaking cute. And it's just slip on top of your head. It's got a little kind of a capish sort of the short sleeve. The V-neck isn't too low, it's very flattering. It's got the pockets. I adore it. It is lined, so you don't have to worry about that either. Fabulous weight of it. I adore it. To the point where, like I said, I got it in black and this morning I ordered it in white. So now I have all three colors. Well, I will as soon as it comes, but because I love a little white dress. Again, dress up, dress down. Here's my black one, brought it with me too. I think if you're any taller than maybe five, six, you may find it to be a little bit too short. Um, you'll see how it fits me and where it hits me. Um, I like it to be about that length and I'm five feet, five inches. So keep that in mind. Um, it doesn't come in either petite or regular. It's just the one thing. So, but I would say pretty true to size. Another dress thing that I got, I got, I, I tried it. I thought, okay, that's cute. On the, on the picture that I saw online, I thought that's cute. I could use that. I could literally wear that around in the parks. I could wear it on walks. I could wear it out to dinner, I, you know, not a fancy dinner, but you know what I mean, I could, whatever, because it's very kind of a sporty thing. It's by Spanx, and here's a picture of it with me. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I've ordered anything from Spanx, I always go up about a million sizes. Um, I don't want it to be super tight on me, which probably defeats the purpose of Spanx in a lot of ways, because I think that's the whole point. You're supposed to kind of have it tight to suck everything in, but that's not what I'm looking for. Um, I just kind of want it to be comfortable. <laughs> So I went up a lot on this. Generally speaking, if I want to generalize my size, most of my clothing is around a size eight. I have some sixes. I have a four. One pair of, um, I think they're white pants. No, they're jeans that I have in a size four. Who knows why? Um, I have a few things in size 10 if I want things to be slouchier or just sort of bigger and more comfortable, especially on, on my bottom half. Um, so that's kind of my range. It's hard to say what size I am. Um, depends upon the outfit. And like you saw in the Tommy Bahama dress, this small fits me absolutely perfectly. I'm wearing a small top in this right now too. However, in this one, this wonderful, wonderful dress, I don't care what it says inside, it fits well. I got it in the extra large. So it's a little bit bigger, I think, than I needed. I probably would have done maybe a little bit better with the large. Not sure. I think that maybe that would be a little bit more form-fitting without being tight, possibly. But that's the one I chose. Just so cute. It has a built-in um, shorts kind of a thing. So you don't have to worry about that or any rubbing because you've got the built-in shorts. Um, so therefore, like I said, you could go in the parks, you could be getting on a roller coaster in this thing, you know, whatever, with little tennis shoes, with um, whatever you want to do. You could dress it up a little bit, I suppose. It's kind of a athletic wear material, but you do you. I'm not going to judge. It's very, very comfortable. And it zips up the front, which I don't know what my brain was thinking when I first tried it on, but I first put it on and I hated it. I was like, this is the weirdest looking thing ever. Like, the collar was really high. I'm like, this is hot. I don't, this is strange. So I was like, I took it off, put it in the pile of things that I try, you know, that I'm like, okay, I'm not going to, I don't like this. I'm going to send it back. And then for whatever reason, about four or five days later, I thought I'd try it on again. I'm like, it can't be that bad. What, what am I doing wrong? I realized I had it on backwards. 
So I don't know why, my brain was thinking it's a dress, it zips in the back, I don't know, but don't put it on backwards and you'll love it a lot more. That's just my little tip there, little special professional tip. Don't wear the dress backwards. These little tops I thought were really, really cute. I love a dark charcoal gray with white in the summer. If you know me at all, you know that I go nuts over that kind of thing. This is a very cute top. It's very kind of a flowy, whatever. It's a, the Lucky brand, a little like kind of a dolman sleeve. Um, I just like to do a little half tuck in the front and my little white shorts and cute little necklace. And I'm adoring this. This one, I believe I got in a size medium because I want it kind of big and, and flowy and it's perfect for me in a size medium. This top, um, I'm always doing walks and things in the neighborhood and I don't always want a whole bunch of sun on my arms or it's cool in the morning, that kind of thing, but I still want it to be somewhat lightweight. I found this, it's by the, I don't know how to pronounce it, Vori brand. I also got this in a medium. It's white, goes with anything on the bottom, a very lightweight um, athletic material, long sleeve. It's got kind of a banded bottom, but it's just light and flowy. Throw it on over anything, black leggings, whatever you got, any color of anything works well. Um, you can kind of see it's, you know, it's lightweight, but it doesn't show, you know, if you're wearing like a tan colored, you know, skin tone colored bra, you don't see it at all. So that's good. Loving this, wearing that a ton. Okay, so those dresses that I showed you and this top and so forth, they have linen in them. The dresses are 100% linen. And if you're worried about wrinkles, which I used to be, I didn't wear linen very much because I thought I'd always look like a wadded up tissue. But I've come to learn that I love linen. I love how breathable it is. I love, even when it's wrinkled, you still look, it's still an elevated look somehow because it's obvious it's linen. And linen just has more of an elevated look to it. Now you're thinking um, summer in the Hamptons or something like that, I don't know. It just kind of gives a little bit of a better flair to it, even when it's wrinkled. But don't worry so much about wrinkles. And this is my new best friend. I have a large whole, you know, fall, full, fall, full standing um, steamer that I use a lot. But this has been the one I've been grabbing mostly lately. And I gotta tell you, it's so simple. I just plug it right in and just give it a quick, it heats up so fast, so easy. Give it a quick once over and anything major goes away and you still get that linen look, but it's not a total wrinkled mess. So this is so handy. Definitely get one of these. Love it for so many things because I absolutely detest ironing. I pretty much refuse. I don't even believe we own an ironing board anymore. I don't, no. I do not have an ironing board at this house or an iron. I refuse. It's bad. I'm not good at it. There are other things I'm good at. I'll do those things. That's something I'm not good at and I will not do. So, steamer saves my life. Here's an odd one. You ready for this? Okay, so I do a lot of grilling. If I can put something on a grill, I will. I've even done pizza on a grill recently. I made my own dough and did the whole thing and it was fun. It was, you have to work very quickly though when you're <laughs> doing pizza on a grill. Um, but anyway, that's a whole other story. That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is that I do a lot of meats and things on the grill any chance I get. So the best thing about doing any meat is to know exactly what temperature you need to take it off or out of the oven or whatever. So having a meat thermometer is highly important. And I've had one for many, many years that I've used for so, so long. Um, I believe it was from William Sonoma and it worked really well. However, it took a little bit longer to come up to the temperature. You'd like watch the temperature rise on it as you'd stick it in. When you're doing that with your hand over the grill, your hand is grilling also because you're waiting and waiting and waiting for the temperature and you try to try to like let go to see, but then the, the temperature thing starts dripping down to the ground. It's like, it was impossible. Anyway, mine started acting up and doing weird things. So it wasn't working well. So I thought, okay, I use that thing every time I grill, I'm going to get a good one. So I found one, I did, the, <clears throat> did a lot of research, found one that seems to be the best. And so I thought I'll give it a try. It's got a one second reading, perfect. So it comes in many different colors. I got this one, you just plop this out. It automatically pops on. You stick that into the meatiest part of the, the piece of meat. Don't hit the bone. And it tells you immediately what you, know, what you got going on there in the temperature. So just start becoming aware of the best temperature for steaks and chicken and things like that where you want it to be cooked, can, knowing that it still cooks a little bit more once you take it off. Lifesaver. My meats have been so, so good knowing exactly what temperature and I don't have to, to grill my hand, you know, waiting for it to come up with the right temperature. So love this so much. So not long ago, I had people over. We had a house full of eight, seven, 
seven people at the time, I think, and kids and things in the pool, and it was just quite a fun time. And we were playing pool basketball. We have a floating basketball thing. And so I was trying to be helpful, and I was on the edge of the pool with a big long stick and a scoopy, scoopy thing, you know, net. And so I was trying to scoop the ball up so I could then throw it back at them and then they could throw the ball and then it would come over to my side of the pool, whatever. I was outside of the pool, fully clothed. Well, I was trying to do that and I was trying to like do one of these with the heavy stick and the ball in there and I lost my balance and I fell in the pool. So I was in the pool fully dressed. It was a lot of fun. I had on jeans, a tank top, a sweatshirt over the tank top, shoes, they were um, like, my plastic Archies, that, so at least they were my plastic shoes, they just came off and floated to the top, which was great. <laughs> but I was fully clothed, like I say, with jeans and everything, and I had my watch on. And this watch band, it's an Apple watch, it was fine. The watch band was soaked. And I have um, worn this and, and talked about this watch band a million times. It basically looks almost identical to the, the Hermes watch bands. They come in many different colors. Um, but I loved this watch band. Well, I saw that it was completely and totally soaked. I just did, I had no faith that it would come back to looking like it does right now. As you saw it, it has been dried out and it looks very much the same as it did. But at the time, I'm like, okay, it's, it's not gonna recover. So I bought a new one because I never wanna be without this one. So, got a new one. It's there. But since I did get the new one, I wanted to talk to you about these. They're wonderful. They're absolutely wonderful. Even after they've been soaked in a pool, and they come back out looking great. So, to get a leather watch band in several different colors that fits your Apple watch, that looks very much almost identical to an Hermes band, you really can't go wrong, fabulous price, and obviously good quality if you can throw yourself in a pool fully clothed and there's no problem. So there's that. A couple more accessories I wanna talk about. I love anything woven, raffia, that type of thing for summer. Absolutely, I don't know, it's just, just got my heart. It just looks, you know, linens and raffia type things, you know, woven, baskety, whatever things. Love them. So, this is the shoe. They are so good. I love them. It's a two and a half inch heel. Foot slips in beautifully, bunion friendly. If you're worried about anything like that, doesn't show too much foot, but it goes back enough that it's not, you know, it goes, it hits back enough on the foot that it doesn't slap, slap, slap when you walk, which is fantastic. I don't like that, you know, that slapping sound when I walk. Um, nice uh, bottom type of a thing that has some grip to it, rubbery and so forth. So cute. These look so good, so good with so many things. They can be dressed up, dressed down. I cannot say enough about them. I love them. They're not inexpensive, but I feel like they are worth it and can be worn with so much, so. I'd rather buy one or two nice pair of shoes than to have 700,000 of a similar look from someplace cheap and they hurt. So that's just my philosophy. So there's that. Now, my two favorite, current favorite bags that I've just been loving that are in that raffia realm, you know, the woven wicker raffia type of thing. Talked about this one before. I've used the heck out of this thing. It's a clutch. It's just a simple clutch that opens, you know, simply. It does have an inside pocket. It's just so simple to throw your things in there. It's a good size. I mean, I can see uh, an iPhone Plus, you know, it's the, it's the 14 Pro Max or whatever. So you can see that, I mean, that's, there's plenty of room still for so many other things. You can throw in your meat thermometer, <laughs> lipstick, so many other things, a book, whatever, you know, it all fits. It's so cute and just, you know, under the, armpit or just carry it like this what i do all the time i love it it's just so simple for like just heading out to dinner or wherever it also works well as a bag inside a bag if you just kind of want to isolate things inside a larger tote it really works well i love this so much had to share now this next one i have not talked about yet and i will tell you that at the moment they are not available they are it is available in black i believe but not in this raffia color I fell in love with it immediately. I have no idea where I'll ever use it, but I will make reasons to, to use this bag. I just, to me, it's a work of art and I absolutely, it just blows me away. Um, I love it. But like I said, I don't think it's available right now in this color. However, they do have a thing where you, you click to have them notify you when it's back in stock, if you're interested. I think this is the most beautiful, ladylike, um, gorgeous bag. I don't know what it is about it. It's just so cute. So handheld crook of the arm, 
Also, I have a chain strap from another bag that I, you can connect. It's a gold chain from this side to this side. So it's like a gold chain strap and then these just pop down and you can just put, use it like to, as for um, over the arm. Shoulder carry, so, so cute. Love it, it has feet. It's got this beautiful, like the kettle leather. I think it is stunning and the inside is beautiful. It also has a, but look at the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful interior. It's got a zip pocket. Love it, love it so much. I can't stand it. So if you're anything like me and this is your type of a bag and you just think it's something that you'll wear, I, I plan to use this when I'm 80 because I feel like it will go forever. I mean, I may not be invited to too many garden parties between now and the time I'm 80, but when I am, this will be coming with me because I just, it makes me happy. So I wanted to share that one with you and knowing that they are taking um, email addresses to notify people when that one is available, I did want to share it with you. So this is what we're going to do right now, I think. We're not necessarily going to have monthly favorites, we're just going to have favorites. And that way I can try to throw things in when I see them and when I know that it works for me right away and not wait because honestly, things sell out so quickly, the good stuff does. So because I have always done a giveaway at the end of all of my monthly favorites, I will be doing giveaways whenever I do throw on my favorite videos too. So there could be more a month, there could be less, whatever, but I'm going to try for at least one a month um, whenever I get a bunch of favorites that I want to share. This giveaway this time will be your color, whichever choice you want of this Ilia foundation stick. It's a complexion stick, actually, love it. There are so many color choices. I believe there's something for everyone. And let me know what your color is if you are the winner, and I'll have that sent right out to you. So as usual, down below the video, click where it says, click here to, to um, enter the giveaway, do the little thing it says, in one month's time, or approximately one month's time, I will be drawing the winner as a random draw. I will be contacting you via email, we'll chat, and um, I will have yours sent out to you as soon as I know which color you want. So good luck for the giveaway. I hope you all give that a try if you're in the market for such a thing because it is a fantastic product. I'm really, really enjoying it. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this works well for you. I know you're used to seeing my videos pop up toward the end of the month or the very first day of the next month when it comes to my favorites videos. So if you haven't already subscribed or if you need to ring that notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my favorites videos this way since you won't know exactly when to find them. But um, I hope this works for you. Let me know what you think and I'll be talking to you guys again very soon. Bye.